Hey guys, welcome to PC Perspective. Chances are you fall into one of two camps when seeing something like this sitting on the desk. You see no purpose for an open air test bench or you think it's the coolest thing in the world. And there's actually some interesting benefits, right? So if you have an open air test bench, like the one we have here, this is actually uh, from Puget Systems. This is their just called test bench kit, uh, EATX version one. Uh, it's a brand new product that they've released recently, uh, made out of acrylic, as you can see. Uh, but one of the benefits is Obviously, the primary one is quick access to your components, right? So if you change out your graphics cards a lot, you change out your processors or your memory, or you're just fiddling on the motherboard quite often, this is really handy. However, even if you're not doing that, there's the benefit of being able to see all of your components in a cool way, right? So even if you have a, a big case with a big window on the side, you don't get to look at your components in the same way you would if you had a test bench like this. So if you're just somebody that wants to show off or you like to have access to things, these can be pretty interesting little devices. Now, uh, as you can tell basically by looking at it, it's a pretty simple device. It's basically uh, several pieces of acrylic held together with some screws and bolts. Uh, installation process was fairly straightforward. You got uh, several pieces of acrylic that was cut and you had to take off some of that annoying um, Lay, or some of the annoying covering of it that keeps it from getting scratched. And then you basically lay it out. You've got a piece of foam here on the bottom that you can stick to the bottom layer of acrylic. Uh, it's actually really nice because it allows you to do things like put your hard drive or put your power supply on this foam. And it's, it's not sticky, but it's got, some, it, it's, it's got some friction on it, right? So things aren't going to slide around on the bottom of it. So even if you choose not to screw in the components, you can still use this test bed. And so our power supply is not screwed in. This SSD here is not screwed in, although they have places to, to attach those permanently if you want to. If it's something that you're going to be swapping out fairly often again, it's easy to leave it sit there. And still, if you've got to move it around a little bit, that's not a problem at all. Um, this unit is $175, which is pretty expensive when you consider what you can get for $175 just with ATX style cases in general. Um, we found, I looked around online, it had been a while since I've really looked into some of these open air test benches. And there are some from a uh, company, High Speed PC, uh, that offers several different models that range anywhere from 79 bucks to $240 or so, depending on the size and the feature count and, and what other things you wanted. I really do like some of the features of uh, the Puget Systems EATX V1 case that they have here. Um, the acrylic is nice if you have anything with lights on it, if you want to add lights to it, those are going to shine through very easily. Um, you have access to seven uh, slots for expansion, right? So you can do three-way SLI or Crossfire, but you cannot do four-way. That's maybe a little bit of limitation. It does support EATX motherboards, as the name implies. If you don't have an EATX board, though, you have these kind of uh, cutouts here for cable routing. So things aren't going out the side of it or out the back of it rather. And you can kind of feed your SATA cable through there or your power button cable through there if you want and your power connections as well. It kind of keeps things a little bit clean. And But I do like the EATX size because it actually gives you a lot of space. So we've got all of our power supply cables sitting here. And I didn't feel like detaching them and putting them away because we may need them for more graphics cards, but there's enough room for me to kind of wind them up and kind of push them there behind the power supply and they're not dangling out throughout the side. So we can still move this throughout the office quite easily. Uh, I also like the inclusion of this mounting point back here for a 120 millimeter fan or a 120 millimeter or 240 millimeter, you know, self-contained water cooler. Here we have a uh, Corsair H uh, 80i, I think, hooked up. And this is a 120 millimeter version. If you have a 240, you just attach the bottom portion of it here, the top of it would actually stick out a little bit. So it's, I actually think that would be a, a pretty neat effect. Um, although it seems very minor, the inclusion of this kind of fixed power button up front is nice, right? So uh, it is only a power button. It's not a reset or anything like that, but they do include some of those accessories in the box. Uh, the, like I said, the installation process was fairly straightforward. Uh, I did accidentally mount one piece of acrylic upside down 
the first time and had to disassemble a portion of it to reassemble it because a couple of the things weren't lining up when I was actually installing the motherboard. Um, and speaking of which, they do include the hardware to enable a uh, hot swap of motherboards. Maybe that's not the right term, but if you don't want to screw your motherboard down to the top acrylic plate, it actually has these plastic standoffs that are basically, basically just posts that the holes for your screws uh, would normally go through. So that keeps it stable, but if you need to remove the motherboard kind of quickly, you can do that without having to undo six or nine screws or whatever. So um, you can find this on the Puget Systems website for sale. I think that's the only place they're really selling it. It's not, you know, they're not trying to get into this market necessarily uh, with a heavy marketing budget or anything. They just sent out a couple of them and said, hey, they basically said we built these internally for our testing and thought that they'd be fairly interesting to put out there. Um, $175 is going to seem off-putting, I think, to a lot of consumers, especially if you're the kind of gamer that's buying a $60 system or a $60 case or a $100 case even, uh, considering you're not getting some of the things that you would get, right? There's no USB 3 front panel connections on this uh, at all, so you've kind of got the, to move the case around and you have the flexibility to, to do that. Uh, depending on where your system is. So if an open air test bench is something you're interested in, uh, I would actually give this a good look uh, and uh, we'll have some more pictures and everything in our story on PCPer.com. Otherwise you can check out the EATX version one from Puget Systems. Thanks everyone.